Hey everybody, today we're going to do another dice battle between Biden, Kennedy, and Trump. This is going to be the fifth round, and we still have yet to see anybody reach 270. Last time, Biden got very close, but he was unable to clinch it. That was also his first win. Trump has won, Kennedy has two. Again, I'm not sure how long we're going to do this for. I'd at least like to see somebody get 270. So we're going to get started in the same order. As always, the left number is Biden, the right number is Trump, and the bottom number is Kennedy. Any ties, we're going to re-roll. Let's get into the action. We've got 538 electoral votes to give out. Alaska is going to get us started. Here comes roll number one. We've got seven for Biden, three for Trump, four for Kennedy. Biden is going to claim Alaska. Next, we've got Hawaii. They've got four electoral votes. And looks like Trump the winner with a nine this time. He's going to pass Biden by one. Let's go to Washington. Twelve electoral votes. And we've got Trump with the 10. That's the big number. That's going to get him another 12. Now we go south to Oregon. There's another 8 here. And we've got Kennedy with his first state with a 9. Next, we can roll on into California. 54 votes. If you're looking to get to 270, this is going to help you out. Here comes the roll. And we've got 9 for Trump. That's the highest big cushion for Trump. As we head into Nevada, they've got 6 more EVs. And Trump with another 10. That's going to beat Biden's 9 and get him another 6. Let's go to Idaho. 4 votes. And that's going to be Kennedy with the 7. Next to Utah. They've got 6 more. And we've got our first tie. Trump and Kennedy at 4. So only those two are going to be in the reroll. Let's do it again. And Trump with the 8. He's going to add another 6 to his total. Now we can go down to the southwest, Arizona. 11 votes. 10 and 10, Trump and Kennedy again. We've got to roll it again. And we've got Trump with the 9. Trump so far with a lot of states. Long way to go. Let's go up to Montana. 4 electoral votes. And another tie. Trump and Kennedy yet again. That's 3 states in a row. Tied at 8 this time. Let's do it again. This time, Kennedy with the last laugh, he puts up a 10, he's going to get four more. Let's go to the Equality State, Wyoming. Only three votes. Joe Biden with a 9. He's been quiet, but he gets his second state. Let's see what happens on Colorado. They've got 10. And those are going to go to Kennedy. New Mexico is next. Five more votes. Another tie between Trump and Kennedy at 8. Here comes roll number 2. Kennedy with a 6. That's going to get him New Mexico. Now we've got North Dakota, 3 EVs. And Kennedy, 8-7 to seven over Trump. Biden with the 1. Kennedy's going to get 3 more. South Dakota is next. We've got a tie between Biden and Kennedy at 8. Let's roll it again. Biden with a 6. That's going to be his third state, but he's still only in single digits. Let's go to Nebraska at large. Here comes another two votes. Tied between Biden and Kennedy. Here's roll number two. Biden with a five. That's going to put him into double digits. Nebraska's first congressional district. We've got Kennedy with the seven leading the way. Nebraska's second congressional district. That's going to be a ten for Kennedy. And now we can finish out Nebraska's third congressional district. Tied between Biden and Trump this time. Let's do it again. Trump with the nine. So everybody getting a little something out of Nebraska. Kansas is next. Six EVs. Low numbers this time. But Biden and Trump are tied at two. Let's do it again. Trump with the nine. That is going to put him at an even 100. Let's go to Oklahoma. Lucky seven. Kennedy with the 10 beats Biden's 9. Texas is next, 40 votes. Biden trailing pretty bad so far, but you never know when somebody's going to get hot. Let's see what the dice have to say. Here it comes. RFK with a 9. That's definitely going to beat Biden and Trump's 1 and 2. So now Kennedy making a move for Trump. Let's go to Minnesota. 10 more votes. Trump with the 8 beats Biden and Kennedy's 7. Iowa is next. Six more votes. Trump is going to go back to back. Missouri is next. Here comes the roll. Kennedy and Trump tied again at six. Here's roll two. 
This time Trump with the nine. That's going to give him three states in a row. Let's go to Arkansas. Six EVs. Here comes the roll. And that's going to be Kennedy claiming another six. Louisiana is next. We've got eight more votes. And Kennedy this time going to go two in a row. Let's go up to the Badger State. That's going to be Wisconsin. We've got 10 more. And that is a 10 for Trump. That's going to be enough to win the state. Let's go to Illinois. 19 more. That's a lot of votes. And that is again going to go to Trump with the 7. So after Kennedy gets Texas, Trump again pull it ahead. Let's go to Michigan. 15 votes in this Rust Belt state. Here's the roll. Joe Biden this time with the 7. Biden going to more than double his total. Let's go to Indiana. 11 votes. Trump with the 9 beats Kennedy's 8. Let's do Kentucky. That's the next roll. 8 votes in the Bluegrass State. And those eight are coming to Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Tennessee is next. We've got 11 more. And Kennedy is going to do it again. Mississippi, six votes. Kennedy, three straight. Can he go four in Alabama? Who's going to get him? That's going to be Trump with the 10. That's going to end Kennedy's streak at three. Now we go down to Florida, 30 votes. Right now, Biden looks very unlikely to get to 270. Trump has a little bit of breathing room. If you're Kennedy, you're going to need a big state like Florida. It is Trump's home state. Everybody looking for a big number. Let's see what happens. It's going to go to Joe Biden with the eight. He's going to get 30. So far, all three candidates with one of the big states of California, Texas, or Florida. Let's go north to Georgia. 16 votes. And that state is going to go to Kennedy. South Carolina's next, and nine more votes. And that's also going to Kennedy. North Carolina's next. 16 more. Tied between Biden and Kennedy with a 10. It's tough to lose a state when you put up a huge number, but we've got to do it again. And that's going to be Kennedy, three in a row. And now he's only 12 behind Trump. Let's jump up to Ohio. We've got 17 votes. And that's going to be Trump with the nine. Next, West Virginia, four votes. Tied between Biden and Trump, here comes roll two. Biden with the big 10. That's going to get the job done. Let's go to the Northeast, Maine at large, two votes. Kennedy with the eight. He's got two more. Let's do Maine's first congressional district. Trump with the nine. Next, Maine's second congressional district. We've got Trump again with a five. That's the highest number. Let's go next door to New Hampshire. They've got four electoral votes. And Trump with a five again, and that's, again, the highest number. He's at 198, Kennedy 165, Biden at 60. Let's do Vermont, three votes. Trump again, that is going to be enough to win the Green Mountain State. So that is actually a four-bagger for Trump as he streaks into New York. If he is making a move for 270, he's going to want to do it right here. Kennedy looking to stop him. Biden might be looking to play spoiler. So let's do the Empire State, 28 votes. That is a ton. Here comes the roll. And Trump with the 9, but he is outclassed by Kennedy with the 10. Biden not too shabby with a 7, but RFK going to get 28 more. And now he's only 8 behind Trump. Let's do Massachusetts, 11 votes. And this time Biden with only a 4 is going to get 11 out of it. Connecticut is next. Another lucky 7. Here comes the roll. And Kennedy and Trump tied at 8. Here's the second roll. This time, Trump, he puts up a 9, and he fights off Kennedy for at least another couple rolls. Let's go to Rhode Island. We've got four more. Here it is. Trump again wins the Ocean State. How about the Garden State? New Jersey, 14. Anybody want him? Donald Trump with the 7. He again goes three in a row. Delaware is next. Biden's home state, three EVs. And Trump with the 6. He again goes four in a row. Maryland is next, 10 votes. Let's do it. We've got Joe Biden and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. tied at 9. Let's do it again. Kennedy with the 5. That's going to put him over 200. Washington, D.C. is next, 3 EVs. Kennedy with the 9. He's got 3 more. And now we've got 2 rolls left. Nobody has enough to get to 270. Kennedy is still in the running for first, but Trump is ahead by 23. Let's do the Keystone State. Here comes the roll. Biden and Kennedy tied at 7. 
Let's do it again. Biden with the six. That's enough to win the state. And now Kennedy does not have enough to pass Trump. Virginia is the last state. Here comes the final roll. And we've got Biden finishing hot. That puts him over 100. And we've got the winner. We've got Donald Trump with 229. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. in second place with a respectable 206. Joe Biden this time really cooled off. He finishes with a distant 103. So nobody at 270. Trump picks up his second win. Everybody with some big states this time. For a while, it looked like Trump might have enough to get to 270. He cooled off just a little bit in the south. So we've got an interesting looking map. A lot of red in the southwest and the midwest. Purple and blue scattered over most of the rest. And it looks like another great battle in the books. So let me know in the comments, were you pulling for Trump to get to 270? Were you hoping Kennedy can make a comeback? Or were you rooting for Biden all the way? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to join if you'd like to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.